Welcome back to another episode of fixing up my old rust bucket. As you saw in the last episode, we got the truck tuned, so now it runs awesome. But as we were driving, it kind of felt weird. It was pulling right a little bit. I looked at my wheel, there was a lot of brake dust on it. So we found that this caliper is actually seizing up. So it wasn't part of the plan, but today we will replace the caliper with the one from our parts truck. Uh, the caliper was replaced, I think last year on that one. So should be good to go for a little while. We have all new brake lines too, cause we got the rear brake lines fixed last year and the shop did a pretty terrible job. Uh, so we got some pre-bent lines here that we're gonna swap in. And uh, something else we wanted to show you guys is we got a new supervisor for the shop. So this is little Indy and he'll be looking after operations from now on, just making sure everything runs smoothly around here. So without further ado, let's swap out these calipers and then we'll get to the next step. process of swapping over the front end from the 2004 over to the 2002 so from what I can see so far this bracket from the 04 sticks out a couple inches forward and the new bumpers don't fit on the brackets from the 2002 these are built completely different than the ones from the 04 so I think what I'm gonna try to do is take a bunch of measurements, make a template of where this is welded onto the frame and then try to grind down the welds and take this whole bracket from this truck and move it over to this one. Not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. That went pretty well actually. There was just a little bit of weld here and a little bit in there and we took it off. So now we can see the difference between the 02 and the 04. It's about uh, an inch taller. Yeah, that's about it. And then this part, this part right here it's not the same either. Here's where we're at now. We've chopped off the brackets from both trucks. 
Uh, the ones from the 2004, we were a bit more careful with them because we knew we were going to reuse them. So we cleaned up the inside. We cleaned up where we're going to weld. And we've installed the brackets from the 2004 so that we can actually use these to mount the bumper where we want it. And I think what I'm going to do is mount these to the bumper and then slide it on roughly where it's supposed to be and then line it up with the grill and tack weld it where I want it. I'll still use that template to make sure I'm roughly in the right area, but by mounting this to the bumper, it makes sure that it's gonna be exactly where I want it to be. Scratch that. That idea seemed good in theory, but it's too hard to line everything up and to get the brackets to go down in their spot. So I'm just gonna pull it off, take the brackets off and use those little templates that I made to put them roughly in the right location. Then I'll put the bumper on, make sure it looks good and then tack it in place. thousand years later that was easy <laughs> so there we go we placed it using the templates we made with those pieces of paper so I'm just gonna put one tack on each side just to make sure it fits well and then once everything's good to go I'll weld it in place all right let's see if she fits Okay. <clears throat> so for a first test, that wasn't too bad. I think this one needs to go up a little bit. All right, let's try this again. Well, there we go. The gap looks pretty good. It's not bolted in right now. It's just hung up on there. But you can see down there, the holes line up perfectly. So we'll be able to mount that and we'll be on our way. So one thing to note, I don't like this like textured plastic that's down here. So I'm gonna try to find a new bottom piece for it. The top piece is in great shape. But uh, unfortunately, we couldn't use the one from our parts truck because it's pretty beat up. And so is the top. All right, let's uh, finish welding this thing and bolt it in place and then we'll be good to go. So there you have it. It's all bolted into place. Nice and solid. The gaps are even all the way around. Like I said, I'm going to replace this bottom piece. And once I do, I'll likely have to trim it here to fit the 35 inch tires. And then the grill from the 04 fits nicely too with that little spacer like the 2500s have. Now, next up will be our hood. We have the hood from the Chevrolet 2500 with the big bump. So we're gonna put that on. We're gonna have to cut it to fit these headlights and weld it back. But uh, I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I've been working on this truck since the spring of 2022. It's now October 2023 and uh, I can't wait. We're almost there. My goal is to get this thing painted before winter and uh, basically have it all done. There's still a lot of stuff to do before I can get there, but, but we're almost there. So let's get onto the hood and get this thing done. Yeah. 